Before we proceed further, request you to please subscribe to our channel as shown above. Hello friends, welcome to Kamat Astrology. In today's video, I am going to cover the deeper meaning and impact of the solar eclipse on 1st May 2022. In this video, we will see what is the real meaning of this solar eclipse, what is its impact on the world and also on India. Earlier, I had made a video a few weeks ago on Shani Amavasya and partial solar eclipse general impact in which I had covered the impact of this eclipse on different ascendants. But in this video, we will see the impact on the world, on India and the real meaning of this eclipse. So this is the chart as on 1st May 2022 and you can see the solar eclipse occurring in the sign of Aries where you have Rahu, Moon and Sun and Ketu in the sign of Libra or Tula. Now when this eclipse is occurring, the sun is in the Bharani Nakshatra. So the eclipse is occurring in the Bharani Nakshatra because this is a solar eclipse. The sun is getting eclipsed. So first let us understand the deeper meaning of this eclipse. Now this eclipse is occurring at around 12, 7, midnight. Okay, and it will go on till 4, 7 a.m. IST. So this eclipse occurs in the midnight and therefore it is not visible in India and most parts of the world. However, it will be visible in portions of South America and in Antarctica. So there are no special precautions to be followed for this eclipse because this eclipse is occurring at midnight. There is no Sutak Kal and hence there are no specific rituals associated with this eclipse. But the fact is when this eclipse is occurring, it is occurring in the sign where the sun gets exalted that is in the sign of Aries. And Rahu enters Aries once in 18 years. So if you see a similar eclipse might have occurred 18 years before that is around 2003 and before that 18 years that is around 1985. So just go back to your life, see what happened in 2003, see what happened in 1985 and you will find that something new took place in your life at that point. Something ended and there was a new beginning. Now this eclipse is occurring in the sign of Aries. The sign of Aries is all about new beginnings. It is occurring in the Bharani Nakshatra. Now Bharani Nakshatra is ruled by the god of death that is Yama. It is also ruled by the planet Venus which is the planet of love. And the symbol of Bharani Nakshatra is associated with that of a woman giving birth to a child. And therefore this Nakshatra represents the birthing process. The sign of Aries itself represents new beginnings. So. This nakshatra represents the process of giving birth to something new. You know that giving birth is a very painful process. There is a tremendous amount of pain associated during labor. But the end result is most often very good. You get a new baby. You get something new. And that is exactly what this eclipse is going to bring in our lives. It is going to bring about an ending of the old things where we have outlived our utility and now we are going to do something new. We are going to get a new birth, a new beginning. So the time frame from 1st May 2022 marks the beginning of a new era. Now many people are using the word Yug Parivartan and other things but this is not Yug Parivartan actually. It is a change in the energies and it is a change which shows, 
its impact across different generations because uranus is also involved in this eclipse so definitely before this change happens there is going to be a lot of pain we have seen the war which is going on and which is still continuing and will continue even after the eclipse is over now look at the house just before the sign of aries which is the sign of pisces where you can see three planets venus jupiter and neptune now on this day of the eclipse venus and jupiter are exactly at 3 degrees 47 minutes roughly and they are at the same degree now venus is asur guru jupiter is dev guru so you have put the leaders of two different cults in one room so definitely this is going to bring about some conflict the disputes could be related to religious beliefs because asuras have a different set of beliefs devas have a different set of beliefs and whenever they are put together there is a conflict this is the reason why you are seeing riots occurring in different parts of the world right now to add to that there is neptune present here and neptune represents fanaticism he represents delusion so what happens is this creates religious disharmony across the world each person thinks his own religion is superior and they fight among themselves now let me come to india's chart india's chart has the taurus ascendant and for the taurus ascendant the sign of pisces is the 11th house where you can see venus and jupiter now 11th house is the house of wishes aspirations and desires and when venus and jupiter are in the 11th house it refers to desires related to religion desires related to spirituality a belief that my religion is much better than yours and that is what creates friction in the society and therefore you can see in different parts of india civil riots are happening now let us go one house before and you reach the sign of aquarius in aquarius you can see two planets again saturn and mars mars is in shatabisha nakshatra ruled by rahu saturn is in dhanishta nakshatra ruled by mars rahu himself is in kritika nakshatra which is ruled by the sun sun is in bharani nakshatra which is ruled by venus so you can see a complete circuit a complete connection here now in india's chart the sign of aquarius is the 10th house 10th house is the house of action it is the house of karma and when a military leader like mars is present in aquarius when a judge like saturn is present in aquarius what kind of action will india take in this time period it shows that definitely it points out towards some judicial and military action being taken by india in this time period so definitely in the next 4 months you will see some kind of action some kind of military action coming from india's end towards neighbors who are causing problems to india why am i saying neighbors because in india's chart the third house is ruled by the moon so in india's chart the third house is the sign of kark or cancer and right now you can see saturn and mars are aspecting the sign of aries where rahu sun moon and uranus are present and since this is the 10th house for india it definitely points to some aggressive military action towards hostile neighbors in the next few months so the effect of this eclipse is going to last for at least 4 months because the duration of this eclipse is approximately 4 hours so each hour of the eclipse contributes to one month of the effect of the eclipse and therefore across the next 4 months you are going to see this effect now saturn is going to 
enter aquarius on 29th april 2022 and he is going to remain there for 2 months so when the eclipse occurs saturn is going to aspect the sign of mesh or aries and you can see sun is a fiery planet aries is a fiery sign rahu is in kritika nakshatra which also represents fire which represents cutting of things and you have uranus there who represents sudden events so when saturn is aspecting the sign of aries which is a fiery sign with fiery planets in it incidents related to fire will increase in this time period accidents related to fire will increase in this time period uranus also represents the aerospace industry so innovations related to the aerospace industry will be there in this time period but because of saturn's aspect on this sign of aries you can see certain satellites being destroyed by warring countries in this time period you will also see a lot of plane crashes in this time period because uranus represents aeroplanes and all of these are fiery planets so it represents a war using planes in which there will be fire accidents now the nature of sign of aquarius where saturn and mars are present is very different from the sign of capricorn aquarius is more to do with friendship with humanitarian services with social services and therefore this conjunction of saturn and mars wants people to come together and serve humanity help humanity in a bigger way and this is necessary for the birthing process which is shown by the eclipse so till we don't come together till we don't see ourselves as human beings rather than people of different religions this conflict this clash is going to continue and till then we are going to suffer but once we get this realization that we are all connected we belong to the same one god then a new birthing takes place a new realization takes place and that is what this eclipse wants us to realize now somewhere around june 5 2022 saturn is going to go retrograde in the sign of aquarius and a retrograde saturn is very strong and when he aspects rahu and uranus in the sign of aries uranus is also associated with earthquakes so in the months of june july there is a possibility of a very strong earthquake is what i see so at least till rahu is in the kritika nakshatra wars are going to continue and you will see that the next whole decade that is at least till 2031 many such wars are going to take place now coming to india's horoscope you can see the fourth house in india's chart is the sign of leo which is ruled by the sun and the sun is undergoing an eclipse right now which means that in the next 4 months the fourth house which represents the homeland the motherland that is going to be under some kind of stress so in this time we could see some action by india against its hostile neighbors as well as india's neighbors creating some problems for india in this time period India's economy will definitely improve because the 11th house of gains has Venus and Jupiter in it which does show an improvement in the economy but this combination with Neptune is going to cause civil riots in the country now the sign of Aries represents fire there are fiery planets like Rahu and Sun present there and therefore it is going to result in an increase in the heat across the world so you will see heat waves happening in different parts of the world especially the northern portions northeastern portions of the world at the same time because neptune is with venus and jupiter it also brings floods in different parts of the world so this eclipse is bringing a lot of changes in times ahead 
now any change is painful the birthing process is painful and that is what this eclipse is trying to tell us so friends if you like this video please mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to our channel kamath astrology you can do so by clicking the subscribe button to know more about us visit our website astroseva.tripod.com for any queries consultations please write to us at astrosevaworld@yahoo.com and we'll be glad to assist you so friends thanks a lot bye take care and stay safe